dear faculty, dear graduating students. It is my pleasure to be here today. During the past five years, I've been involved in the entrepreneurial ecosystem of Egypt as a co-founder of Crown Solar. I think it is the most enriching experience I've ever had, and I'm here today to tell you more about it. Before I start, I would like to clarify that I'm not in a position to give advice. It is too early for me to claim any specific wisdom or accumulated experience above any of you that would allow me to be an advisor here. I'm only keeping you up to date with what is happening in an ecosystem that I believe is important for you to understand as you embark on a new phase in your lives. We cannot start talking about entrepreneurship in Egypt without initially explaining its roots in the 25th of January revolution. In the year 2011, active citizens from our generation ignited a glorious revolution that enabled us to see ourselves and our abilities in a different light. Suddenly, what seemed difficult to attain became almost within our grasp. We realized that the system we live under is not as permanent as we perceived it to be, and we realized that we're not as weak as we always thought we were. Despite our continuous efforts to find a meaningful role for ourselves through that revolution, things did not go as well as what we would have hoped for. And to a great extent, that was expected. At the end of the day, this was our first attempt in politics, and we did not have the institutions that represent us, nor represent the values of the revolution that we believed in. I mean the institutions that represent our generation and are capable of helping us consolidate our vision, take the values that the revolution called for and translate them into actual achievements on the ground. The thought that captured my mind constantly was how to take those values to every corner of Egypt, how to make sure that our generation can build an infrastructure of companies, NGOs, and networks that can help us achieve the vision for the Egypt we believe in. I realized that the reason that we, as a generation, lost every battle to our rivals from the usual oligarchs, corrupt politicians, and extremists was the lack of that infrastructure at a time when those rivals enjoyed a well-established and diversified infrastructure that enabled them to achieve their goals. It is because of the revolution that my colleagues and myself got the courage to decide to take a different path to change things. We thought that politics is an important space and the revolution needs to understand. But at the same time, there are other ignored spaces and our generation needs to explore and understand them. What we did not know at the time is that there are many others who reached the same conclusion and embarked on the same road. Entrepreneurship for us and others seemed like the most relevant route that is suitable for our skills and abilities. Today, I have eight things to tell you about entrepreneurship in Egypt. One, entrepreneurship is a form of resistance. Resistance against unchallenged business models, against bureaucracy, against the well-established oligarchs, and definitely against dictatorship. It is important that we realize that the ultimate winners in our struggle to transform Egypt to a developed nation are those who will be able to solve our society's problems, create jobs, design and produce original products that add value to society. And thus, every problem our society faces becomes an opportunity to solve it. And by consequence, every solution is a potential for a business idea. And every business idea is a potential company and every company becomes a potential job creator. And not just any job, but valuable jobs that help solve our problems and eventually export our solutions to those suffering from the same problems globally. It is a value-adding resistance that cultivates creativity as it eradicates inefficiency and favoritism. Two, entrepreneurship is a form of self-expression it enables us to draw a picture of our country that reflects who we are. It gives color to our ideas. There is not a single way to do business. There is not a single way to improve technology. There is not one single way to build a company. Every society has its own version of doing things and entrepreneurship 
is helping us today to develop a version that represents us and our culture. Entrepreneurship is a tool we are currently using to help us show the world our version of creativity. It is our generation's answer to the semi-talented and the semi-passionate who are asking us about the good the 21st of January revolution has brought our society. Three, entrepreneurship is about proper and accurate definition of the words we use. Consoler is not a success story yet. It is just a story in the making. We will not be fooled by the ecstasy that comes with the easy and early claim of success. It is important that we as society learn how to define success and when to declare it. Sometimes simple definitions make all the difference in how we see things. A small mistake in how you define a success and it can turn into a fancourt. Four, entrepreneurship is a form of independence. During the past five years, Consolar has been exclusively financed by young professionals who have put all or part of their savings to see it grow. They were not only investors, but active advisors involved in one way or another in building the company. Entrepreneurship has enabled smaller investors to take their money to companies where they are more engaged. And it put a limit on the power that the bigger oligarchs had on smaller companies. Independence guarantees that only the best ideas can fly and only the leanest companies can survive. Five. Entrepreneurship is an amazing cure for anger and despair. It is good to be angry when we have to be angry. But anger can sometimes be destructive if not managed properly. Anger is an emotion. And any emotion is a form of human energy. Entrepreneurship enables us to channel that self-generated energy to a better course. It gives us a chance to change what we do not like, and it gives us hope in a better future. Six, entrepreneurship is about failing properly. Even failure has a value to it, but it has to be managed soundly. At the end of the day, success is nothing but a chain of successive failures. Companies or institutions that fail suddenly and catastrophically never get the chance to benefit and learn from that failure. We live in a society where failure is in many cases attributed to bad planning or bad execution, and that is the worst reason to fail. Entrepreneurship gives us the chance to fail for the right reasons. To fail because we reach the extent of known physics, or to fail for the absence of the needed technology. It is a failure that we can learn from, document, and pass on to those who will come after us to make their path shorter. Seven, entrepreneurship is about knowledge accumulation. Every company is a step in building a more knowledgeable society. Every success and every proper failure adds an extra bit of knowledge to our collective abilities as a society. The best gift we can give the coming generation is the gift of knowledge. Knowledge is empowering. It is a springboard that can take our society to higher levels of achievement. The more knowledge we accumulate today, the better chance we give to the great minds of this nation to do something with it sometime in the future. We are in a society where people work hard to earn more money. It is important to understand that instead, we need to work harder to build more value and knowledge is a value. When you build and accumulate value, money will surely follow. But when your target is money, there is no guarantee that value will, will follow. Eight. Number eight is intentionally left blank for you to fill. I do not know everything. My knowledge has a limit to it. I'm sure there is more to say about entrepreneurship that I do not know about. But isn't that the whole point? It is a continuous adventure of discovery that has no end to it, and every newcomer has a fair chance of a role to play and a new value to add. This is an open invitation for all of you to join a startup or to build one. Just make sure that startup is addressing one of our society's problems. In the past, our utmost hope upon graduation was to land a job at a big corporate and have their big famous logo on our CVs. Today, 
we put small, unrecognizable logos on our CV, and we strive to add value to those logos and to make them known. The uncertainty is great, but the reward is even greater. On the 25th of January 2011, we started an unconventional revolution. And today, we have a unique opportunity to take the values of that revolution to every corner of Egypt. Let us not fool ourselves. We are going through some really tough times today, and it is affecting many of us negatively. I am optimistic, but I try hard not to let my optimism cloud my view of reality. There are 1,000 reasons to, live e to leave Egypt, but there are three reasons to stay. Responsibility, opportunity, and hope. In those three reasons, I see value, and value is my compass. And I hope it would be your compass too. Best of luck with your next endeavor. Thank you.